Well, this is a good time for a test. We're going to have a test here once in a while. <laughs> Plain sheet of paper, number one through ten. Okay. This is going to be a ten question exam. By the way, this is a new high school exit exam. Passing requires four and correct answers. Are you ready for question number one? Yep. All right. How long did the Hundred Years War last? Now don't giggle, Bob. This is serious business. Go ahead, just that. Number two. Which country makes Panama hats? Number three. From which animal do we get cat gut? Number four. Which month do Russians celebrate October Revolution? Number five. What's a camel's hairbrush made of? Number six, the Canary Islands in the Atlantic are named after what animal? Number seven, what was King George the sixth first name? Number eight, what color is a purple finch? Number nine, where are Chinese gooseberries from? And the last question, what's the color of the black box in a commercial airplane? Are you ready for the answers? The Hundred Year War lasted 116 years. Panama hats are made in Ecuador. We get cat cut from sheep and horses. Russians celebrate the October Revolution in November. Camel's hair brush is made of squirrel fur. <laughs> Canary Islands are named after dogs. I have to look that up. King George VI's first name was Albert. The purple finch is crimson. Chinese gooseberries come from New Zealand. And the black box is orange, of course. Yes. Did anybody pass? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was close, I said red. <laughs> Crimson and red are close together. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is that exercise we've just gone through? What does that tell you? We live in a world of lies. The more, the more you know, the more you realize you didn't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, in your notes, uh, you have this. Uh, this is uh, a uh, study that I did years ago that I re-examined regularly, and the proportions still remain the same because there's something that Bill Bonner said uh, a number of years ago that substantiated all this. Uh, he says that Americans buy things they don't need with money they don't have to impress people they don't know who could care less. <laughs> well, we got to have this, these things, right? <clears throat> but it's not true at all. So this is my 29-year-old making 28500 a year, and uh, he'll spend 20% of what he makes on uh, transportation year down. Yeah, 20% goes to uh, transportation of some kind, 35, 30% uh, goes to housing, I lied, it's 33, 40% uh, is going to live in. I really lied there. Uh, I toned it down uh, because I wanted to be able to say you're saving 10% or whatever he makes, and that's not true. Uh, negative uh, interest rate, a negative savings rate happened in the last few years. You add all those up and it's 100%, but these things are financed. This is the interest on the automobiles over a four year period of time, and that's perpetual, because uh, uh, fully 90% of the cars uh, sold in our part of the world uh, are not paid for. When they're traded in, they're not paid for. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, uh, typical mortgage only stays on the books five years. Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, a number of years ago, a uh, lady expert in mortgages at that time, she said uh, it was only 2.6 years. Yeah. Something happens to mortgages. Uh, here's the interest on the Bank of America card, the boat payments. Uh, that's comprehensive inclusion. There's all kind of forms of insurance out there that have no real purpose at all except people don't have any money. They can't afford to uh, take care of something, emergency, that might come along. I saw a study here not too long ago where uh, the typical person in the USA, if uh, an emergency of $400 came along, uh, they could not handle it. Yeah, that's absurd. It doesn't have to be that way. It's all a mindset. Now you get rid of the green, you have the uh, uh, money that's going away from them that will never be recovered again. Well, that's a 34.5 to 10 ratio if they were saving 10% of what that makes. Remember those numbers, 34.5 negative, 10 positive. Now, this is the real savings rate according to the uh, 2012 Research Department of St. Louis Federal Reserve. Uh, the shaded areas here are re uh, recessions. Uh, here we are in 1960. Uh, USA types were saving 8%. Now you notice the, the ups and downs. Uh, and uh, you notice that back there in the uh, recession of 74, we got all the way up to 14% and could not stand that prosperity. Now we'll look what happened uh, here. Uh, it dropped a half in just a very short period of time. Well, look what has happened since that time. Uh, it actually went negative, I tell you, back here uh, at one point. Uh, now, here comes that last recession, 2008, mount right back up at 8%, and then just fell right in the same old pattern. Uh, so, we keep doing the same stupid thing. And it's all caused, but it's all uh, created by the banking uh, community. Uh, I see commercials on TV where a, a zero turn John Deere more, long more, uh, you can have uh, seven years or eight years financing on one of those things, and you don't have to pay a thing the first year. <laughs> uh, Tempopedic mattress, eight years to pay for it. On a mattress, good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, but yet, you see, stadiums just full of uh, spectators to sporting events, right? Somehow or another, they come up with those sporting events, but if anything comes along out there that they got to pay for, they don't have the money for it, so they finance it. But let's go to the uh, uh, other extreme there of the sporting events and things like that. Uh, there's a commercial rather regularly there in Birmingham on the radio. Uh, about uh, don't miss out on your great vacation plans. Uh, these are memorable times that you want to spend with your family. Now, if you don't have the money, uh, we'll lend you the money to do your vacation with. <sighs> That's just like our old days, right, Bob? Yeah, yeah uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Golly. Um, it's a mindset, folks. You don't have to live this way. And there's a problem with all those items of finance, either by credit cards or bank loans, and the balance is financed by uh, paying cash, thus giving, up, thus giving up interest that could be earned otherwise. Now that goes back to a concept that Richard Canyon came up with uh, back 300 years ago. Money has a cost. But yet we hear people talk about 0% interest on their card. There is no such thing. That's just another form of discounting, that's all. Uh, invariably, if you read the fine print, they say all. Well, what's the all? A discounted price. Take the discounted price, always. They're financed by other banking organizations, uh, not theirs. Now, this means the interest proportion of every dollar spent is perpetual. Now, what people have got to get through their heads is that when you start up a, uh, a banking business, that uh, 
We are starting a business from scratch that never existed before. Uh, go back to the videotape, uh, uh, Back in with Life, and uh, when you get the message of that uh, video, uh, you understand that really a life insurance policy with a dividend paying mutual company is nothing more than a pre-engineered trust agreement. That is all. The life insurance company is just your uh, your trustee. That is all. But you outrank everybody in access to the money that's got to be lent. Well, so it boils down to this, uh, Bob. Uh, there's just a few uh, rules to this entire concept. One is that think uh, long range. Think at least uh, three generations. Two, don't be afraid to capitalize. The more capital you put in the business, the stronger it is. The more premium you pay, the better off it is. Uh, number th uh, three is just don't do business with banks. Mary and I haven't seen a bank, I told you, in 23 years. That's very peaceful, stress-free. And uh, the, uh, uh, let's see, did I left that one? Fifth. You have a new one. Yeah, the fifth one that we have there, but I seem like I've left out four for a while. But the last one is rethink your thinking. Don't steal the piece. Don't, don't steal the piece. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Ah. I got your back. Uh, don't steal the piece. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't do business with banks. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. 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 Think long range. Don't be afraid to capitalize. Uh, don't steal the piece. Don't do business with banks. And always uh, rethink your thinking.